Okay, now we're going to paint this up here. Try to get some color in there. I want a contrast between the uh, dark wood and the uh, that crack there. If I leave that crack, it'd be kind of a cream color, and I don't like that cream color. This is a turquoise here. Make it look like it's copper or something, you know? We're going to start down here at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Now we got some good color going on in there. And this would be dark. Oh my goodness gracious. You'll see it when it starts coming up side more. Yeah, you can see it just a little bit now. This is where the wood cracked. And I filled it. And instead of trying to match it with the wood, I wanted a little bit of an accent to it. And I don't want to paint it. They call it just look like a crafty thing then, you know. But if I accent this crack here and make it stand out a little bit more and kind of turquoise with the dark wood, boy, it'll look good. I would put this in my house in a heartbeat. This is actually going to a real good friend of mine. He, uh, him and his wife are fixing their house up really nice. So, I want to make sure it's really nice for them. They can enjoy it. And maybe even we might be able to go down and take a picture of it in their house one day. Uh, they've already ran the tile work. And they're doing some of the trim work. And then we're doing a, a epoxy countertop too out of a piece of longleaf yellow pine. Got some nice oranges and reds in it. <laughs> We'll get inside the pouring room, and uh, we'll film us pouring this thing, and y'all get to see what's how we're going to pour it. It's going to be a little bit of work, but it'll look good. You won't see this backside, but I'm going to paint it anyway, just because. Just because I know it's there. Okay, that's it. This is Jerry at All Me and Jerry's Place, the Little Philippines. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, guys, we're going to pour this. Let's get our gloves on and get our resin, and you're going to see how it changes. Right now, it just looks like a big old block of wood. Again, we got the camera turned down so you can see everything. Uh, hopefully the mic's where you can hear. Uh, we're going to um, turn this fan off so it doesn't blow any dust around. It's hot in here though. We're about 85, 90 degrees. Which that's what you want when you're pouring. That way you have a good setup time. Okay, we're going to start up here where these big holes are. We don't know if they go all the way through or not, but we're going to find out here in a minute if they start running everywhere. But we're going to start here. Oh boy, look how dark that is. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness gracious. I want you to look at that. Oh lordy. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I see, like I said, with this turquoise color here, it's going to be beautiful. This is going to be downright beautiful. Yep. Yeah. We gotta coat the whole thing real good so it soaks in good. That way next coat next coat it uh it'll pour that much more. Yeah, it looks like them holes don't go all the way through too bad. We're gonna pour them until they're filled though. We've got a little bit of a running here. We're going to coat that with an Australian timber oil. No, we had a bug. Didn't think we had any bugs, but we had one. See? As much as you treat them, much as you do with them. It's just an old tree trunk to begin with, so... You really don't know what you're getting into. Don't that turquoise look good with that dark wood? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that looks fantastic. Yeah, buddy. Like I said, we'll coat all this other stuff with that other coating. Okay, we got to stop or we're going to get dirt in there. We got to torch it. Um, I think I need to raise it just a little bit more. I'm trying to level it up. I'm going to have to cut the bottom of this thing off. So, we'll push it. Hopefully, we get it up there. Okay. That's looking better. Looking better. Okay, now we're going to torch it. Bubbles out. I'll do this every single time. See the outside how it soaks in real good? Oh yeah. That's gonna be fantastic. That's gonna be one pretty sink. Oh yeah. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That is really nice. Okay, we're going to put this on as uh, step two. And then, I guess step three, we will show you putting other coats on it. And then we will show the finish. And then on step three, we'll finish this up. But that way you can see the exact prog progress of going through the whole entire thing. This one here, like I said, it just covers it to begin with. Uh, we do have a hole over here. It is draining out somewhere. But that's okay, because this one here more, more than likely has stopped that hole. If it doesn't, what we do is we get some black caulking or something and put it way down in the hole and we'll fill that hole up. And we'll stop the resin from running through that way. But you'll have to wait a couple days for the caulking to set up. You can't just go ahead and do it. So... This is Jerry. Here, look at me. Come on, look at me. Oh, okay, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. I know I can. This is Jerry from Jerry and Ami's Place, a little Philippines. Um, please subscribe, like us, leave a comment. If you don't like us, don't like us. But it'd be nice if you did. <laughs> And if you have any comments or suggestions, please give them to us. Thank you. Bye.